Ayo, what is up, y'all? It's RJ. This is Gun and Sinks Podcast. Hey, you know what? It was like I was going to do a really quick intro, but I decided to give you a few more minutes. I don't know. I just felt compelled. The, the energy of the Lord compels me. Hey, listen. Uh, in this episode, uh, my friend Chad came by. So, thank you to him. Uh, we talked about mushrooms, we talked about some food tech. Listen, I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all. Just listen to this show, skip around. You know the deal, you have the power, you create the reality. On that note, the book is on sale. No, it's not. I lied. The book is just up for sale. Uh, so go grab that if you haven't. That'd be cool. And... The, uh, you know, Instagram is RJ Martins. You know the deal. Uh, I don't know, man. It, it, other than that, I hope everything is is pretty dope. I still got a jacked up microphone uh, thing that broke. It just broke, you know? It, I'm pretty sure we talked about that last time. So I got to deal with that. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Happy, happy, uh, happy Spooktober. It's, uh, it's Halloween. So stay safe. Don't do anything too freaky. Don't sell your soul to the devil. Um, come to the light side. Just come to the light side. All right. I love y'all. <laughs> um, gutinstinctspodcast.com. Of course, you know the deal. And uh, hit me up, man. Let me know what you think of the show. I'd like to hear your thoughts. All right. (laughs) Peace. We're good. We're good. Levels are a go. All right, man. Cool. Um... All right, so let's open this up by just saying what is up to the world. Um, Chad, thanks for coming here. Uh, for any of y'all who remember, I've said I've been wanting to get a, a few uh, really cool guests on the podcast. And today I have my homie, Chad. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming, man. Um, so, yeah, we've been actually we've been talking about doing a podcast for a while. A long time. Yeah. Long time. Like, cool. I mean, like. Like like Van RJ like I I can't I moved <laughs> I moved out from west to east yeah. uh, I got a dope van because honestly I could just put a lot of uh, plants in it that was like my whole goal and it worked out great but it was you know a lot of gas mileage and stuff but yeah man I uh, Chad here worked at the farmers market yep two and a half years it was a blast yeah what so what were you doing there so I was working for an island mushroom company yeah that's where uh, I met you yep. Exactly. Um, so I started working at the Hope Artiste Farmer's Market in Providence, the east side. And uh, basically I sold mushrooms, medicinal and edible, at the farmer's market. Met a whole bunch of cool people. Met you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. That's how I met. I met a lot of people at the farmer's market. Yeah, a lot of yeah. cool people. Good, good yeah. vibes and stuff. It's so, fun. It's yeah. fun. So you, were, so you started right with the Mushroom Co. Yeah, mushroom yeah. Co. I basically, actually, so what happened was I was doing... Um, I had a mentor for uh, my senior project to graduate. This was a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, my mentor was Todd Leftowich, who's a pretty well-known mycologist, okay. um, who's now working in Colorado, half the year, and I believe Philippines, last okay. I've heard. And uh, my mentor, he taught me how all about mushrooms, everything, because my senior project was on mushroom cultivation. Nice. And that just... Op- like you know opened up everything i know about the mycelium oh, sure. world yeah, the network <laughs> and uh <laughs> so, the fungal network yeah and the cool thing is um bob the guy the one of the right. owners De, uh DePietro? yes the petro yeah the petro that's the own the petro the yep. um, owner of rhode he island came, mushroom Co. yep he came up to me and he saw me doing my work and he goes you know hey kid i was like yeah what's up he's like, a blind job <laughs> 
I said, hell yes, I want to drop. <laughs> I can't so be any better, right? It was labor at first. You know, you got to yeah. work up the totem pole. I was doing right. uh, grow room stuff, you know, some the labor. bags, right? Bring I saw bags those bags. Bring the bags out. Um, if any but, of y'all don't know about growing mushrooms, just look that up. That's cool. Yeah, like, they got bags. Yeah, on, mass, they on bigger foods. scales. Yeah, they yeah. sell them at Whole Foods. Um, and so, so you're doing that, filling the bags. Yeah, I'm doing some labor. Eventually, I made my way into the lab, which is really cool. And the really cool thing about this is... Even though we were a mushroom farm and we were working in a warehouse, I mean, you know, we did mushroom things with yeah. breeding and stuff. We also had, I also got to learn um, about brewing because, brewing beer, because right next door was Proclamation Brewery yep. and they needed yeast. So I learned a lot about yeast and wow. non-fruiting body mushrooms. So people who don't know what fruiting body means, a fruiting body or a fruit is something that is a... Uh, basically made for reproduction it's a system okay. for reproduction so mushrooms are fruiting body and that's the part we eat that's the part we eat the so like real that. part of the mushroom that okay. lives the longest part of its life is actually underneath the soil or or the growing medium eating carbohydrates and turning it into proteins yeah so that's like the living part yeah so um, yeah exactly so that's interesting cool to learn that yeah <laughs> and, all right uh, no yeah that's no worries and uh <laughs> Yeah, so it was, it was pretty cool to get both sides of, you know, we have like the mycology side, right. and the science, and the mm -hmm. biology, and then, we ha and then we have next door putting it to use. Mm. Like, how, how can I use this in the real world? You know, That's interesting. In society, economy, um, and there's, there's so many, there's no limits to where mushrooms are going to go. Yeah, because then it opens your, right, more doors to... Oh, yeah, seeing how, what I, how can I make money <laughs> off this in the future? I could brew, you can right. make this, they're making hats out of it, out of the birch poly pool. Or, or birch <laughs> that's poly what, pork. <laughs> uh, Paul Stemmets, right, exactly. on, he, that's, on Joe oh, Rogan's podcast, right, that's what it's made out of, oh, no, yep. what is it? No, yeah, this hat, Paul Stamets always wears that hat, <laughs> that German hat. Yeah. Yeah, it's made out of, uh, it's made out of that birch poly pool. That's cool, I was birch just about poly pool. So the birch polypore, and that's the um, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, a shelf. Yes, one of the yes. shelf. Yep. So you'll find it like like, a, kinda... like up on the tree. Yeah, and you see them everywhere. To be honest, you see them everywhere. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember for me it was like like think shit like packaging. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like, like yeah. if you think about it, it, makes sense. Like styrofoam is one of just like. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I get it has to be used sometimes, but it's like, it's one of the shittiest, like, plastic things that we... Yeah, derivative. Kinda, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than the pe packing peanuts. Fuck. Hey, man. Dude, packing <laughs> peanuts. That's even worse. <laughs> I know. But, like, something that is easy as that is, uh, I watched something, like, where they can make they, they whatever they're going to ship, right? And then they grow the mycelium around that, mm -hmm. and then they use that mold. Yeah, so to grow exactly b a bunch of it's, those molds. Yeah, look at it as like, it's like what? Um, yeah, you can clone it. You can clone <laughs> yeah, it, like, like, bacteria. You know, um, my, dude, mushrooms. That's amazing. A lot of fungi can be that's amazing. You know, sexual, asexual. So you know, depending on it, it adapts to the situation. Both. The cool <laughs> thing is that mycelium, uh, you know, the the roots, so to speak. You know, it's not a plant with roots is the easiest way um, for people who don't know about mushrooms that I can explain it. Yeah. Uh, mycelium is like, quote, quote, the roots of the mushroom. It is the main part and it what spreads. It's what takes in the nutrients. So the cool thing about it is that if you have a mold, you can, like, I'm actually thinking about, now that you say that, that'd be cool to do art with it. It's not <laughs> a glass thing with a whole bunch of medium and just fill it with, like, you know, and have a little mushroom Ooh. pop out the hole mm. at the top, <laughs> you know? That's a whole design, like yeah. There yeah. we go. Now we, you know, we have brewing. Now we have mushroom art. <laughs> We're getting a little crazy. <laughs> Literally a whole other aspect of art for people. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Mushroom art, biology if art, art mycology art. <laughs> anyway, That'd be what, cool. I, what I was saying is, my point being is, you can have a mold or a shape with growing medium inside it, no matter what. And mycelium is going to find and stretch out and consume it. Yeah. You know. Um, and you, it's going back to Paul Stamets, he also explained mm -hmm. how they did tests where mycelium would go, would stretch out looking for the most rich nutrients. Mm. And after it found it, it was almost like, uh, not almost, it sent a message to the other part of the mycelium via hormone or whatever it is. Mm. I don't know, maybe do some research yourself. 
I'm ignorant on that point. I don't like know how talk, really like talking to, talking to each other. Yeah, it's like talking to those cells. Like send this message and then you know goes through it's, the other but side. It's, so it's stop, yeah, it's like yeah, it reaches the highest point of nutrients and it tells the other part of the other side of the mycelium, the root network. Right. Hey, we found the better better shit over here. Here it and is. Yeah, you don't have to stretch that much. Let's start going this way and use our energy to stretch towards this mm. direction. That is insane. That's insane. <laughs> it almost seems like and I'm sure you maybe may agree, and like a lot of people probably would, the people who are like really into uh into mycelium mushrooms and everything is like it almost seems like there are just there are just main organisms that are alive and what we're seeing is just parts of mm. you know what i mean like like you know like it can't go extinct like they can't go extinct like like my hen of the woods it can't mm. like what we're seeing is sort of just like babies of this giant yeah. The, the, right? Yeah. This giant one mother. I think of it like as a mother. There's a mother yeah, exactly. of each. I guess I think about that in plant in plant the plant realm and myself, but I think mm -hmm. of it more of a more of a spirit from... in the plant realm. Which I guess it could be thought of that way yeah. in, in the in the mushroom realm too. It's like because I I, 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 I tell people I feel like there's like a mother Tulsi, you know, mm -hmm. uh holy basil. There's a mother <laughs> lavender. And uh it's in yeah. the plant. Yeah. Right? So you can connect to it. But it's not the plant, right? It's just like a daughter of it. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's um, the whole essence of essence yeah. of the creation. I don't know. Because I mean, you think of that like the tree of life kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, that's where you can get spiritual. Mushrooms are definitely a spiritual thing, you know. And uh, it's I think yeah. I like how it's being more accepted now. Yeah. You know, it's still not legal. You know, when you get into uh, philosophy and the yeah. psych, psych, uh, you know psychedelics, you know, right? Philosophy, cubensis mm -hmm. is the most common one. Um, as the residents, you know, and if anybody's in, that's yeah. the medicinal mushrooms, the are the ones that are the the ones that are psychedelic. Psychedelic. Uh, you know, I don't like saying they're, they're yeah. shrooms. Yeah, Paul Stamets also doesn't agree. Doesn't like shrooms. Right. It's almost derogatory. It's like a party drug, and uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. I think, um, especially when you look into history, where when we were in Africa, still as just just new species, you know, Homo mm -hmm. sapiens or came came to be, uh, and. They're doing research saying that your brain connect, your brain neurons make new connections when you have a psychedelic experience with psilocybin. Hmm. Yeah, and the cool thing too is there's so many different mushrooms that you can have those experiences without psilocybin, which is the main one you find. Yes. You know. Yeah. Uh, for example, Anamina muscaria. Mm -hmm. Don't recommend it. You gotta really know how to how to brew it. And yeah, stuff. guys, that's a deadly. It's considered they Consider. label it, but we know it's all about the preparation, right? It's like you gotta prepare yes. it right. Ginger, turmeric, whatever. You know. um, I don't really know all the details. Never tried it. <laughs> I, yeah, me know. either. I yeah, it. I I probably won't um, myself. But uh, I was thinking of what do you think of uh, kombu? Kombu? Kambu? Kombu? I'll show you. Look. Um, so yeah, so you're talking. We're gonna look at combo. So oh, can can you? It's that. No, it's the Kombu. it's the frog. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Frog. I yeah. I I don't know too much about it. I'm familiar with it. Like I know what you're talking about combo. Frog. Is it combo? combo? Yeah, this little green. Yeah, little, little green looks like a little frog. tree frog. It looks cute. You want to pet it, and you start <laughs> tripping balls. <laughs> so so yeah. So wait, you were gonna do you were you were talking about the different plants and i guess fungi right that that can give well, you it's these... like a different types of mushrooms that can give you a similar experience yeah and okay. plants and animals too it's now now every, every type. different experience though yeah 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 everything's different yeah to... so like something from a frog like which is the venom i guess or the secretion from the yeah, from the back uh if any of you haven't ha don't know a combo, I think that's how you say it. So it's like the secretion from the frog. They've used it for thousands of years, just like uh, you know psilocybin, just like um, um, just like ayahuasca. That we, you know, if you listen to podcasts, you've already heard me talk about that. My experience with that, you know, they they use it. Uh, they poke, you know, they can poke holes in your arm or your chest. It really just depends on where you need it. And, and that's when you talk to the shaman. You, you. That's why I recommend going to like a real source and like don't mess around. And uh, and they'll know. You know, they'll listen to you and they know where to put in your arm. And you, you know, a friend of mine, uh, 
um, you know, you know, Ange- Angelo. Um, yeah. So his brother, I don't know if I'm blown on spot. Anyways, uh, I, well, anyway, I know somebody who's taken and, and actually came out of cancer, like some major, it was, they, he was yeah. ready to go into surgery. Yeah. Uh, it was for his lung. And it was, uh-huh. it, you know, and I don't know the whole story. Maybe one day I can, maybe one day you can come on the podcast if, uh, <laughs> you know, if you yeah, listen to this uh, and tell your story. What I know is that like he, and he went in and took it, he went here too and went to a legitimate place and they, they, they did their thing and, and he came and it wow. was gone. Like the, ca- the wow. cancer cells, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and it's like something like that when you experience it. Um, you know, you yeah. know, like when you, when, when you, you come back from it, right? yeah. When you come back and, and like, you experience something, whether it's psychological, right. This is mm-hmm. physical and physical, psychological. Mental. Yeah. All of all mental. Of all the spots. Um, you know, for me, it was like, it kind of, uh, when I left and not many people know this, cause this is like an ever growing, I can't share my story all at once. It's just too much. <laughs> right. But like one of the little things was like, when I left for ayahuasca, mm-hmm. did it, I haven't been before, right? Oh, yeah, dude. You went yeah, all right, all right. The shaman yeah, because I was a, like, yeah. You brought me a mapachu. <laughs> okay, yeah. You like, killed my lungs from <laughs> Yeah, it was like 9% <laughs> of tobacco. It's, they don't even really, I don't, I don't even know how they, I don't know. The shaman just talks on that all day. I, <laughs> I don't, how the fuck does he do dude, that, dude? Oh, my God. So strong. I was like, oh, cool. Mapacho. Like, tro- like tropical yeah. tobacco that's yeah. considered spiritual. And just, and I was like, all right. <laughs> dude, just, like, my lung was just out my mouth. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like I actually, I was like, I was like choking on that as I was in my casita, like <laughs> almost all day. It's like on and off, and yeah, it's just like I was like, okay, this is what I do in the jungle. Is this what I'm yeah. supposed? This yeah, is spiritual like, awakening. We'll, we'll give you ayahuasca and spiritually awaken you, but we're gonna destroy your whole lung. Uh, <laughs> some kid, some kid I, I met. It was he was like, dude, this is what you got. He bought me a whole. I'm not even kidding. Bought me a whole pack. He's, <laughs> The whole the pack of cigarettes. People think if you're thinking a pack of cigarettes, the normal life, it's like forty. Oh, you know no, what I mean? The it, ones no, that you get in for real. That. No, it was more than that, dude. In their hand rule. Do you know how long that takes? And the thing is pretty crazy. And I, I love it. It was it was great. Yeah, um, I can't believe that cancer though. He really did that. Yeah, and and you know, in you know, that's that's one case. There's a few. For me, it was like. I left, and I was still wearing. So so like my per rectal issues with the fistulas, the abscess, just the mess pretty much down low. That's what I tell people. Just at the end, just think of the worst situations. I mean, I'm talking like bleeding and everything you can think of, you know, from the inside of your bum cheeks to the actual (laughs) hole itself. It's like, I'll end up getting, (laughs) I'm easing people into it. You know what I mean? As the shows go by, but like I was still, that was one thing. And you know, maybe some people can relate, like some people with the hemorrhoids and everything. And uh, I went there, man, and I, I told myself I'm not wearing any sort of padding thing or anything. And that yeah. freaked the fucking shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Because I've been, I, yeah. you know, we're talking like, you Crohn's, you it, it has, was rashes and stuff. I was like, yeah, so it was, it was mental, all of it. I just did it, man. And, and for a few days, I would make sure I would clean up and everything, but, um, you know, I think part of it is that, like what you said about making those, n- n- those, those, those neural networks yeah. that I learned about, Mind making these mad. new, I... these new pathways that, like, the RJ who didn't book a flight to South America go into the jungle. You yeah. know what I mean? And be like, "Fuck you! I'm not gonna," you know, yeah. um, like I had just the ointment and and a roll of toilet paper. You know, what <laughs> I, mean? I couldn't bring all this these clippers and yeah, yeah. You know, I had Rats. I had a little bit just in, in my kind of like a just in case. But I told him, "No, you're not gonna wear it." And uh, you know, part of it was I lost a ton of weight, dude. I started losing weight. Because I started eating less. Uh, no part way. of the dieta is if you mm-hmm. follow it, you no red meat, yep. uh, no orgasm. So I couldn't, you know, no no masturbating oh, for man. a m- month prior and a month after. So that's the majority of men. <laughs> majority of men are like, oh, I'm not going. Nah. Oh, oh, that, that's the deal breaker right there. <laughs> Wait, how many hours? <laughs> uh, no, but that yeah, that's a str- especially for. As a guy, like you're, and even if you're not like an everyday, uh, everyone's different too. I mean, I grow up a lot of some people are different. Some people every other day, once a week. 
once a month or is that when you start some people don't at all right the people yeah, are really yeah. into it doesn't matter apps. they say that you gotta be like absent for like this amount the whole thing is the energy oh, that's what I realized word, but... like I, I yeah but that's what yeah, it is it's... being absent yeah. because sex S-E-X sexual energy exchange it's just one of the... Why is that? Do you think it takes away from your original like experience? Do you think they should be slightly focusing on that experience and they don't want anything to like skew it? I, uh, I don't know. Part, part of me thinks, you know, because I'm sitting there a month before, like, um, okay, this is interesting. No red meat, no yeah. pork, no... Really? I think there was salt a week before because you don't have salt... You don't want any like the week is off. Is it just sodium? So you have to like that. That would suck. Like, yeah, just, every, like tons of stuff has sodium. Right. Uh, actually, uh, that's what got me at the end. My low sodium. Yeah. I, I flipped. I, I, I'll tell you. It'll take a second, <laughs> but it was. Uh, I think it's maybe just the energy because you know when you when you have sex, right? It's like it's physical, and whether or not people believe it or whatever, I guess it mm -hmm. is a belief. But it's emotional too. It's like. Uh, mm -hmm. if you think of your physical body and your emotional body, especially when you do the, like when I look at it, do the research of the auras and the way we're toroidal spheres. Like yeah. if you look at your, each of us as a donut, when mm -hmm. you come together, you're, you're making a figure eight, man. Like mm -hmm. take two donuts. If everyone's, anyone's listening to this one, right? Like, like the like Taurus. And oh, if you yeah. put the Taurus together, it's like infinite, like, there you go, my friend. Oh man, symbolism is real. Right? <laughs> symbolism is, dude. Jesus. Symbolism is right. Yeah. It'll fuck. It'll Human trip you is, out. Yeah. And so, and that's the stuff that I'm like, oh my gosh. It's and then I think of the male female infinity yeah. together when you have sex, when you create another being. Yeah. You're literally creating the Fibonacci sequence, man. You're 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 developing that human picture. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I see. It's Trips like, me out it's just like, saying that's the first time. Venn, Venn diagrams just smashed together, and they're just like, ooh. Right. So, Symbolism's so, tough, too, because it's like, yeah, can you believe it? it? Is, Do you man. believe it, or, it you, is. or you don't believe it? It's just a coincidence, and it's right. just that. That's the real thing. It can stress and, you out. Yeah, you're like, does Sometimes. this, is, like, do I believe in this? What do I believe in, like, this? You know what I mean? And then it goes, into, like, psychologist. You got it, too? You know what I mean? The human, brain, human mind is crazy. It's you amazing. Know? You know? And, and speaking of the human mind, uh, mushroom that I that I would be taking uh, that I take supplements of, uh, not enough because <laughs> you know I'm busy. I'm a chef. You guys don't know that. So anybody who's a chef or knows chefs, I'm always working, which is, shouldn't be an excuse for me not to do it. Mm. But lion's mane, for you guys who don't know, is an absolutely amazing supplement for memory for for your health for you know even spiritually too you know what i mean um you got more you know it's just i, I don't know like it's it's uh, packed i'm jumbling out for words right now yeah it's, it's like because really, it's so much yeah it just yeah. does everything it's really really awesome turkey tails like you said earlier yeah that you had growing on the log even the spider yeah. grew got <laughs> web over it it's pissed <laughs> um yeah amazing. maybe i'll shave that Chaga. off see if it'll grow Chaga. back um, um yeah, yeah the lion's mane yeah that was one of uh i was it just it super inspired uh that's what inspired one of the kombucha uh, uh flavors yeah. that i made when i was that was you, you know when i was with Lee them mane, is it? yeah yes so all it. of them pretty much until the last <laughs> two months uh because of we've, no way. we've made our we with part our, our ways and we, and we we talked about angelo earlier his brother was the one who who right. The, yeah. The and this thing. is fully rooted. This is the um. This is yes. the local uh. Juice. The local juice company. And then people will follow me on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, do you do you want um? Do you have do you post on your Instagram? Rarely. A lot? Rarely. All right. Yeah. So I mean, I'll, I'll make sure. I mean, I'll make sure I tag you if you want on uh, yeah, when when the, when the episode comes up. Yeah. I mean, that way I can, you know, because I let them know. I let them know we were having the podcast, but I'll post it. And uh, yeah, because every you know you post some cool food stuff. Yeah, sometimes. I do a lot of food stuff. Mostly. A lot of my other chef people listen yeah, uh, you know, into food. We talk mushroom. a lot about food, so I'm sure there's plenty of chefers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, we'll get into food um, in another while. We'll yeah, we'll do more. another podcast. We'll, yeah. This podcast is about mushrooms. If y'all didn't and get it yet, and mental health, we talk a lot about mental, you know, mental yeah. health stuff. But stuff. but the fun thing about the show is like I was telling you, I don't I don't even want to have yeah. You know, I like to see where it goes. That's the yeah, fun part just, about just it. let it yeah, yeah. Just go. Let's see where your mind takes you let's see you know yeah um there's plenty of good podcasts out there too that i love listening to because it's just so educational i find that i love podcasts podcasts are just like just 
as educational as looking up like a crash course on YouTube. I think Maybe so. not pinpointed. Shout exactly out to Crash where, Course too. Yeah, that yeah, got me through some nah, serious did, college. <laughs> college, man. <laughs> some serious. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're good. I got it. Got it. Crash <laughs> Course. Hank, got it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think podcasts are cool. It may not pinpoint what you want to know. Yeah. But you know, my like. But my you can fa- pick a subject. That's what the right. You can say, oh, this person's yeah, on. Yeah, so they right. Yeah, I mean Joe Rogan is one of my favorite people, like podcasters. I love it. You yeah. have to. You dude. gotta. He has I mean, shout out to. Honestly, for for me, it's like uh, the pavers. At least for for me. I mean, I'm doing this, so I have to have sort of an inspiration, right? In a way, so I'd say it's like you know Joe Rogan's platform and just the way it all works, and. Uh, you know, a, li- a little bit of what the fuck pod, but you know, Mark Maron in the beginning, like yeah. just because of how raw he is. If anyone's into like comedy and oh, just I, yeah, like I love that, his comedy, yeah. he, he just talks to random uh, his friends. And, yeah, but m- most of it is just uh, the way he opened up. Is, it, it, and that's really what yeah is interesting. <laughs> he went in, from like martial artist to fear factor dude to uh, yeah. you know comedian and now yeah, and he even he says that it's it's amazing. The, the transformation the uh, podcasts are amazing awesome i love you listening know? and that's what uh, that's i like love listening especially being a mushroom nerd paul stamets he has him on multiple times amazing i even covered some of the stuff that he said yeah so if you guys want to you know like, like learn more about you know some of the points i made about mushrooms look up joe rogan paul stamets podcast on youtube it is. It'll blow your mind yeah yeah that blow that podcast mind. oh this the, the first is is it three? I, I think the second one was the one that was like... I don't know the order. I forget. It's about the mycelium. I've watched it mo- twice, I think. Or two times. Oh, you yeah. Can't oh, watch. yeah. You, you like, like, stuff like that, you can't watch or listen to it once. No, it just blows your mind so much. You're like, wait, did I hear that right? You know? And you're like, oh, shit, I gotta do it. Like, like, did I smoke too much weed when I was listening <laughs> yeah. to this? <laughs> did yeah. I touch a frog when I was yeah, listening to this? Touch a frog. Uh, still, yeah, oh, no, it was man. really cool. Is, this, is it the one where he's talking about um, the possibly the... Uh, he's talking about honey mushroom, which is the biggest or heaviest organism yeah. in the world and where is that at that's in uh, i believe you said it was the uh, pacific northwest yeah you should look it up dude honey mushroom and it's cool because you can eat those there is a deadly yeah. look alike so don't just look yeah. up honey mushroom guys and go out and get yeah. it <laughs> please <laughs> disclaimer yeah, so, don't sue me yeah um, that that's one thing about yeah that's one thing about mushrooms right it said uh-huh. like so so when i you you really kind of got me inspired into mushrooms even like i i i, 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 I was i mean i thought you were eating. I do. I, I it helps finding friends. Like remember, <laughs> I, like I, I I moved here out west when I'm in San Diego. I'm at the farmers market. Mm-hmm. It is not hard to find people who are into mushrooms. Yes, yeah. I was right? in California a few months ago. I did over here. Really, what would you? Do? I was in do? Modesto. Oh, wait, we do. We nice. went to Lake Tahoe. We went to nice. you know see the redwoods. That oh, giant the motherfuckers. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, it was a uh, it was Yosemite. So, I can't wait to go visit. Dude, you got it, you got it, man. I was like, I need to do this. Ever since a kid, you know, being a little bio nerd, I was like, I need yeah. to go there, mom. <laughs> it's just, it's just, yeah, and then, life uh, changing. I bet. Yep. Oh yeah, I, I thought it was a Jurassic Park. Like I thought I was like one of those little chicken dinosaurs running around, <laughs> and then you have that big, you know, the Velociraptors, like yeah, where the T Rexes don't give a shit about the little yeah. chicken. Like I felt so little there. I was like, holy yeah. shit, dude, wow. mind blown, mind blown. That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely. I got. I gotta do it. I gotta take a vacation soon. <laughs> you know the craziest sure. part is that, that that I freaked out about. So I found a little shelf mushroom on one of the trees. I couldn't go get it, but I was like, oh my! I think it was like a reishi or something. Now I believe they're carnivorous trees. So I looked at it, but I couldn't pick it, and I was like, oh my god! These like trees are like nowhere in the world. I was like, how does this mushroom different from everything? I, I wanted to take it to the lab and shit, yeah. but I couldn't because they were. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you like? You gotta <laughs> preserve it. So it's like yeah. Or I couldn't. It was just that fenced off. I like jumping in it. Like it was a wooden fence, but I just felt like, you know, I just get tackled by some security guy trying to rip a mushroom off of like an ancient tree. <laughs> you're like, no, sir. This is for science. Yeah, yeah. this is for it's science. Like you're That's just what we do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, That's yeah, awesome. That was cool. So we did that. This is the sad part about California, at least Modesto and San Francisco area that I was because I mm. flew into San Fran. There's it's so dry. There's no mushrooms, dude. Mm. And I wanted to go, like, if I went to, I'm going to take a trip to Washington State to, to do it, you know, because that's, it rains all the time, it's beautiful woods, but yeah, I, I got to do it. 
Yep, there's a honey to mushroom. Washington. Yeah, this is the honey mushroom. I'm just pulling that up. The largest living mushroom in Oregon. It's an or yep, it's a, it's a, a giant Amalaria. Amalaria. Yeah, let me see. It says Amalaria. Yeah, what does it say? Covers. You can read a little bit if you want. Acres. People love that, by the way. Oh yeah. If I yeah, if I do look a little something that sounds interesting. Let's see, to go into the forest where this giant makes its home, you would not look at it and see it as huge, blooming mushroom. Uh, what is that? I, I just pronounced so it. So there is yeah. So there's again. two estimated it, cover over twenty two hundred acres, right? That's to, what. It, okay. To to be twenty four hundred years old or possibly yeah. older. So twenty. Not fifteen hundred. Two thousand. I just glanced at. At that. <laughs> yeah, 2200. That's what I think we, Paul Stamets said too. 2400 years old. Imagine that. Yeah. It just, it blows my mind because I'm, I'm 30, right? <laughs> just a measly little 30 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> 2400, like, I, you know, it's like I got my, my mom and my grandma, and then that's a couple hundred. You know what <laughs> I mean? And I still am like, wow. Feel this way. It is 2019. Yeah. This is, this would be the year 2001. <laughs> like what? Jesus is like, yo, go get some some of the honey mushrooms in Oregon, man. Yeah, <laughs> Walking on water that. from. <laughs> yeah, wow, man. From that's that's insane. Yeah. I it, mean, so do you, here's a question. And I mean, I, do you even think humans can be older than now? Like, you know, yeah. kind of we got like this hundred year, yeah. if we're lucky, kind you know, of span thing. What is it? 123, 100, 100, over like 120, I believe is like the oldest. Yeah, I it's right? Um, <laughs> I always see the Welcher's jars like, happy birthday to Glenn. <laughs> He's yeah. 110. My I'm gra- like, whoa. My, my great grandmother right now is 96, 90, 90. 97. Wow, bless her yeah. soul, yeah, dude. Sure. I'm like, I holy man. And the funny part is, she to answer your so question, much. To answer your question, yes, I believe yeah. we can get older. Know why? And this is not factual, just kind of like an amusing, you know, like Yeah, just comment. two lines. Yeah, yeah. Is she I used to think. chain smoke cigarettes on the beach, laying in the sun, drinking <laughs> one cup of coffee, one cup of coffee after another. And she's goddamn in her night. What the what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, RJ, we can get older. Yeah, You know, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, those arguments were not evolving anymore because we have so much science now. Yeah. But I believe... We don't need to evolve genetically, mm-hmm. but because of everything we're creating, uh, you know, between like pharmaceuticals, which you know we no one all agree with, but uh, I'm with you on that one, man. You know, I feel like a technology you know. is gonna surpass a point where it's just like you want to live forever, or yeah. you got this. We know the technology. I hope yeah. it doesn't, because that's kind of I don't know. Maybe I don't know how I feel about it. But. So it's it's funny that like you, like you bring that up because my I kind of I could see that happening and like. And, and I could see both ways, like how you how you just explained it, and it's perfect, perfectly said, man. Like because it's like in one way, I'm like, well, we already have, like, we already have the knowledge in a sense. I feel like, like I tell people this all the time. I mean, I've had full shows on this shit on mm-hmm. glyphosate. Mm-hmm. I think stuff like that is systemically poisoning us. Like yeah. that could take thirty years off of humanity easily. People yeah. may not think about it. Maybe be like, dude, you're crazy. Yeah, but one you're crazy. time shifts away. You never know, dude, dude. When you look at the science and you see things, and then you understand that, like, okay, well, just because it's applied and they tested it at this doesn't mean it didn't change over yeah. the week that it got exposed to the environment or the sun. Doesn't mean this doesn't get processed into something different when it comes in the air. I mean, there's, there's so much to it, right? There's uh, Half-Life. I, I had a whole yeah, conversation with a friend about like that. We studied that, you know, you've got, but again, same thing. You've got to look yeah. at it the long term. You have, uh, for example, best, best uh, analogy situation, jewels. You know how everyone's like, jewel, 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 vape, 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 but how do you know what's going to happen so long in the future? Now we have pharmaceuticals. Right. You're taking this, oh, FDA approved. Mm-hmm. Well, how long did that take? Less than 10 years, 10 years, whatever. All right, dude. Well, all right, for 10 years of research, you're taking this drug for 30 years. Is that a lot? Of re- yeah. <laughs> is, is yeah. That... But, that's what I got. Well, it's mostly it's, you know, the waiting process, but think about that. You know what I mean? And that's why I love the, the mushrooms and the plants and everything. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And uh, again, I should exercise it more. I, you know, I. I'm with dude. I'm I, with I, you. I, and you I know, think everyone should. They, I think part of it. I think most of it. And I, I tell my mom this all the time and stuff. And it's like, the shit bags in the government need to finally. They, there's, there's a lot that have been kicked out, right? But drain the swamp. 
mm-hmm. needs to happen more, and they just need to mm-hmm. deregulate, which means uh, yeah. decriminalize. Yeah, they need exactly. to take it off of whatever federal bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that because when that's gone, then all the states can do whatever they want. Same thing with cannabis. I think they're kind of both hand in hand. I think yeah. when one happens, the other needs to happen, and that will open up. Uh, like you said, I mean, I'm not against the pharmaceutical industries. Yeah, I'm, I'm against help. the I'm against the way that it's wrong. Yeah, or they've been manipulated because yeah. there's probably you know you figure you have a group of ten people, mm. two of them are the dark energies, and if they are the ones running the show or get to run the show, yeah. the rest of them are just gonna go with it. Yeah, if they monopolize you know? and you know, and yeah, so, it's the, the thing is. It, I and think there's a lot of benefits. It's what I'm saying. Listen, a lot of everyone wants money, but you realize that's what it is. Money drives everything. Money's driving a pharmaceutical company. You know what I mean? If you want to prescribe this person this, somebody's getting the money. Yeah. No matter who it yeah, is. Yeah, it's the so. bottom end. It's some. It's yeah. being made, right? Yeah. It's the, the, the pills being made or the research is yeah. being done. Same it, thing. People yeah. love doing the research. And I love that. That's money, We need too. that. Yeah, we do. That's money. Yeah, everything's yeah. true. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I think, I think that's where, like, People like you and I, as the time goes by and we get louder, I tell people, I'm like, I get louder as the years go, as the months go by, Mm -hmm. as the deregulation stops. Massachusetts is legal for cannabis now. They've, they, well, they, Mm -hmm. they, they they can do research now, right? With psilocybin and yeah, in, in Colorado, right? Steve Cripp? Um, right. Is is it? I'm pretty sure. Research. Was it research that was de- something was decriminalized? Oh, I I'm gonna got find that out info. right now. <laughs> yeah, I really should not um, be working that much if I don't even know this. <laughs> dude, it's like you, we gotta work. The culinary you know? industry, dude. <laughs> you, what? So, no, what's your? Stuff. What's been your favorite uh, dishes? Or what? I guess or what's your favorite dish oh, to dude, make? Oh, that, you can't ask a chef that, man. I make good. good That's what I wanted to hear in a way. You know what I mean? Well, it's recently, like, how do you, how do you recently, because we're on the topic of, of well, we were on the topic of mushrooms. Uh, let me yeah, include just, a mushroom dish I did. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah, so what I yeah, did, tell, I took, uh, what was it? I believe porcini. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. If any of y'all don't know porcini, they're one of the most delicious, at least to me, great, one yeah. of the most delicious. Um, I kind of have a thing for, um, chanterelles too. Oh, yeah. It's like a buttery, <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. An orange ridge mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Chanterelles but awesome. tell us the porcini, um, So dude. porcini, oh. it's, it's also called King Bali, so if you guys are getting into... Um, foraging King Bali is like kind of a more Americanized name. Uh, porcini comes from Italy, um, so I cut them into small slices, you know, pan seared them. But the main dish, the protein, what, what? anything, right? No, we're getting there. Okay, oh, yeah, I think it's making sure. So <laughs> I'm getting too excited. <laughs> a lot of people are like, ugh, when I tell them this, but I had uh, beef heart, which if you guys Dude. don't know, is awesome if you cook it right it i'm is like, digging it people are like ew it's gross as why it's a muscle just like the cow's shoulder you eat the cow's ass and you call it one of the best you know i was like it's the heart whatever it pumps blood blood goes Yummy. through all, yeah the blood goes through all the muscles anyway anyway it's all psychological so, i love that You're like i cleaned the it. ass is delicious guys yeah. it is everyone believes the that beef shit. ass what about that it is beef that's ass. gross yeah but everyone <laughs> eats it you know what i mean and they don't think about it right so, right you know, but the heart is yeah well, Oh, you know, but to get past that, yeah, I uh, cut it, you know, pan seared it, I and I did, it. A, I did a I beef heart it. mushroom ramen. Whoa! Yeah, with Swiss chard, a little garlic, smoked paprika, so, a little smokiness. Did you cook? Because I, and I'm gonna ask you this, bro, because mm-hmm. you're a chef, right? And yeah. you're gonna love this because literally, I cooked last week. Oh yeah, chicken livers, nice beef livers, nice, and I. Pretty much put them together, and I'm making a pat meat bar, meat bars. Wow, that's yeah. protein power. Not even that, actually. Uh, protein like li- uh, organs are way more nutritious than the muscle, like the cuts or fillet. Um, you know, and huh. even more than that, mollusks actually mollusks have the highest density of protein than almost anything on the planet, and you wow. get omega three fats. Wow. Yeah. That's like a double punch. Yep. I do like scallops. <laughs> Those scallops are one of my little, favorite. Fun fact, fun chef fact. Scallops are the only protein that caramelize because it has the only, it's the only protein that I know of or have been taught. Wow. Maybe, you know, if somebody wants That's to get me wrong. Yeah. The Look only, up the internet. Yeah. Peep, uh, it's the only protein that contains or produces natural 
carbohydrates. Dang. So the sugars are actually caramelizing. When you sear a steak, that's not caramelization. So if you hear stuff, oh, just like sear it to caramelize the top oh. of the beef, that's false. <laughs> It was a French word that's that cool. I forget. Yeah, yeah, so you'll know. That's everyone's listening. Yeah. You'll know. That's a little, like, it's a little false narrative. Yeah. Because uh, you can't really caramelize it. So I guess you'd sear it, though. That would be the yeah. right. Yeah, you're right. like, you know, you denature the proteins, and then you, you know, break some more. Right. And you have to color it different. Yeah. Dude, that's cool, because, I and I, and I can tell when I do sear the scalp because they really do it's a golden brown oh and they're so sweet it's crazy yeah, it's like sweet. it's so sweet that's the carbohydrates that's amazing yeah that is so cool <laughs> yeah wow yeah and, wow. and think about it this way that's probably why i love those things too yeah, i really do yeah, they're sweet. one of my favorite like uh fish like you know seafood i guess or, yeah well. it's sweet but it's it's healthy and it's delicious you know man so all right so my head's like spinning dude i love it uh <laughs> so the 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 organs, right? I'm yeah. gonna jump back to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, pa- packed with, like you said, the proteins are are, are way more packed with, like it's you said, just way more nutritious. Yeah, yeah. way more nutritious. Yeah. Now, now, when I how do you cook it? I guess tell me because you cook the mushrooms. Yeah, the liver. When you did it. How do I cook the? No, how do you cook the heart when you oh, did it? I mean, yeah. Because yeah, I'll right, tell you exactly. what I did to okay. throw it in the. Yeah, all right, cool. In the in the pack. So I so you did it. the mush the mushrooms first. Yeah, and the garlic and everything. Yeah, and then I hit it with a little white wine. Right, which is so an like acid. you got it's a, a base going in, yeah. in your in your. Yep. So once you get that little char in the bottom of the pan and it starts to really cook, I yeah. you hit it with white wine or depending if you want lemon juice in your dish, you hit it with some type of acid. It's yeah. gonna deglaze the pan because that's yep. flavor at the bottom. Yeah, as so long you're as picking it's not it charred, picking it all up with the acids. You know, white wine is a good one. Mm-hmm. Pinot Grigio, um, and then once that gets going, you cook off the alcohol for a minute. So depending on your yep. heat, how long it takes. Yep. Um, and then I added, let me see. Oh, I got to remember now. If I was in the kitchen, I could do it. Like right. some spices yeah. or whatever, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, smoked paprika, yeah, yeah. salt, pepper. But it's herbs. in there, right? You just, you threw the... Toss the mushroom, toss that and deglaze the pan. No, the meat. I'm talking meat. No. All I right, need to cool. know. That's yes. what I mean. I need to know cool. because that... That is a second We'll talk step. about that another time. That's hard, right? It's it, it's oh, a, yeah, it's a different, it's a, I just mean it's a different breed when you're cooking a liver. Or a heart, right? Yes, different. Tongue. I ruined a tongue. I had to throw it too, dude. I, beef tongue? That's cool. I I've um, unsuccessfully I ruined it. two beef tongues. Really? Uh, I'm not ashamed to say it. They're very hard. And the thing about beef tongue is, the fun, actually, it's ironic because last night I was I was cleaning be, uh, a beef tongue. No way. So I got it. Yep, I got it from a Quidnick at the farmer's what? market from our, from our boy. Yeah. Nice. A Quidnick uh, Farms, if any of y'all who know, that's exactly uh, yep. who I get my favorite meat from. I'm, I mean, I'll get, get Pat's Pastures too, good too. which is that's another. Cool. Um, pasture raised grass fed um rancher here um husband you know they do animal husbandry but a quidnick farm <laughs> little uh by the sea um they eat the ocean grass it's just so great it's and they it's have really a, rhode island uh, and it's a small herd that's my favorite part yeah because i don't think there's more than ever 20 uh in the herd ever i think it's like way less than that even Oh, um, yeah, I mean, they yeah, still it's have a small operation. operation. It is, you know, it yeah, is, but it's um, really good. And uh, for you guys who live in Rhode Island, you should check it it's out. It's delicious. Yeah, the best. So, yeah. so yeah, so you had you got a beef tongue, which is awesome. Yeah, that's the, the universal synchro- yeah. synchronicity <laughs> that you guys are hearing. That you're probably like, I love it because we talk about that all the time on, on the podcast. Yeah. like how the universe will 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 show signs like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, not not as like. Look at me, just as a hey, you guys are in the right place. Yeah, exactly. you're rocking it. You know what yeah. I mean? This is so fun because we, we got to relate. It, we can relate. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so, so I, that was cool. I was doing that beef tongue. Cool. Last night. All right, but, uh, the beef heart. Yeah, so this is cool. So I did, I did all the rest of the stuff. You know, right. The, so do you charge. take that off now of the pan? What do you do next? No, you no, got the I, stuff no, made. No, I have two separate pans. Let us know. Two separate pans. Oh, okay. All so right, this all is in right. the kitchen. Okay, this is a commercial kitchen. So right. I have a boiler. But if somebody's at home. So we, you boil the water for the ramen. You do the pan with right. all the stuff so in they're it, which doing I'll get to eventually. You know? yep. And then you have a non-stick that I use, and you get it to, like, really hot. You know, you're searing it. You want to, you know, because... This is the meat now. Yes. This is the, this is the cow organ. Heart. Yes, the organ. And you sear it lightly, you know, and you want to heavily salt it, any meat. Heavily okay. Heavily salt the meat. All right. very important. I will salt my meat more. I haven't really yeah. been doing that. Some of the salt's going to leave because of the oil, right. but you want to heavily salt it because it's just the top and bottom. Because there's a technique to it. That's what I mean. This is why yes. I love that you're telling me this. So, like. and I, you get the donks. This is what I do. So, you can yep. do it slightly different ways. Every sure. chef's different, sure. but I take that nonstick pan, heat it up nice. Once it's heating up, put the uh, canola oil, you yep. know, or vegetable Whatever oil. Whatever oil. I like oil. canola, yeah. And then I heavily salt it. 
the filet, the cut, whatever, and you just sear it until it's golden brown. Flip it, sear it. Yep. And then I transfer pans because that pan's really hot. So I don't want to put that whole pan in the oven, and then one side's going to be way cooked than the other. So it's a long process. That's a little – but that right there, mm-hmm. that's, that's the, huge. Yeah. You know, something like that, you know, I can't get that really much. It's hard for me to find something like that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, like, listen to the fire you tell me about that. That's a little trade secret. I am totally willing to grab second pan, homie. You know what I mean? Grab it yeah. quick. Or even if I took it off, right? Put it on a plate. And waited for it cool down. Yeah, waited yeah. for it cool down. Or yeah, did a course. quick rinse or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then, so, but the whole point is, right? Getting it at the lower temperature. Yeah, that's what you're, you're gonna, saying. Because you're going to finish off the meat in the oven. Got it. And, and burgers it. are different because people say, how do you want it cooked? You know, at like a... You know, if you get that question, if you're at like a cookout with your family and they're just doing it on the grill, you know what I mean? So by the time you get it to your temp, you know, first of all, they're cutting into it, looking at it, (laughs) just letting all the flavor and the juices out. And then all the tops is going to be way more charred by the time the inside gets filled. So what you do, if you want a really good burger... And this is a long step, but if you guys are bored at home and you want to make a banging burger... It's worth it, though. It's worth I it. I feel like it's, it's worth you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this goes for some meats, too. Like, you could do it with this beef heart. Right. You know, you you take the burger, you you cook it, and you got to just come to take some practice, you know? Of course. Um, dude, like I said, I've it. messed up so... It happens. It's part of it, dude. Um, but even, gotta... the, even the simple, like, uh, the steaks. Even the simple... Mm-hmm. Too hot, too f- or something happens... Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's tough as a tough as nails. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, yeah. invite me over. We'll cook something. We'll have a main podcast. Yeah, about. we'll we'll do that next time. We'll we'll, um, we'll make sure. Yeah, the whole part is but getting in the cool pan it, and 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 then t- finishing right. it in the oven until so you it. want it, and that's just gonna be nice. What's your go to? Uh, do you have a go to like a temp? Temper- yeah, temp. Oh, yeah. yeah, medium rare all the way. Unless it's beef heart, like rare, everyone's probably gonna throw but, up. But what's that, the but. like uh, like home home chef oven? 325, 350 kind of. Oh, I throw it all the way minutes. up. But that's just how I so like four hundred degrees then. I do. We our oven is a convection oven, so it's way quicker. We would run at five hundred because we have service to do really quick. Yeah, that's what um, I mean. But like, if I, I wanted to, I would also throw it all the way up. Yeah, it's gonna take less just, time. Just quick. Yeah, and you can. It, I think. Weird. I think for the, I guess voila, you know, I did for the steak. Uh-huh. Nailed it, bro, yeah. <laughs> dude. You'll be proud of me. I, I'll try to make you. That's the thing. I don't always nail it though. It's so funny. Yeah, thing. okay. But what um, you do? It was a New York steak. Uh, strip, New, York New York strip. Yep. yep. Uh, what I start, uh, I start with it on the um, the fat cap, right? Because it's always a slight um, fat cap at one end. Mm-hmm. So I, I I let it sit upright, and I honestly just let that set for a while. Yeah. Until that really renders out all that fat renders out. Yeah. And then. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, you can. That's on silent. Oh. Just click, click it. No worries, homie. No, homie, no worries. Oh um, yeah. So so. Uh, and then I, I did it, like you said, uh, the sear from one to the other. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I took it, popped it in the oven. Uh, I didn't do the second uh, one, which I'll definitely do mm-hmm. at some point. Uh, yeah, put it in for, I think, 325 for like 5, 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. And that's it, you know? But it's small, not really, you know, it's not yeah, a burger or anything. Like, yeah. like you said, you have to, Yeah. you know. That's, there you go. I mean, whatever works for you. So, cool, man. Do you you also do you gotta go, brother? Nope, I do not. All right. All right. I was gonna say. I mean, we've been doing. We can, my, um. Yeah, we can go. Minutes. So go back to mushrooms for a few minutes. Yeah, we can go finish. We can finish up with mushrooms yeah, if you want. Yeah, we're mushrooms. already at forty forty six. I mean, figure right, an hour is yeah an hour is I figure is good for. Wow, for, already the time flies when you're talking. Dude, right? I told you, man. It's like when it's you know nothing. when. When when you're in it and you're you're doing things like you know we're we're talking about things that we love and uh, we relate to yeah uh, it's really easy and uh, <laughs> and people love that too it's like at first I was a little skeptical and I mean in some shows I'll keep short because I'm by myself or whatever yeah. half an hour but an hour can come up quick man when yeah. you're and, uh, yeah <laughs> when you're uh, you know when you're doing it but. Um, but yeah, the yeah, mushroom. The um, you know, I'm I'm really I'm really looking forward to them decriminalizing um, them for you know just for research and for for medicine. I think they're going to change. You know, going back to what you said about the neural networks, mm-hmm. <clears throat> that whole mind over matter thing, and it can make you crazy sometimes too because yeah. when you realize how much power you have in the mind, yeah, 
It's like a, it starts to freak me out. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna deny it. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell some people. I'm like, that's why I don't believe in the bullshit superpower people thinking they're the greatest people ever and they're rock. I mean, yeah, they're rocking it, and yeah, you <laughs> you can do it, but you definitely have some lows and highs. Lows, yeah. and that's I think to honor that. You yeah. know, for a while I wasn't even honoring that, and that really really fucked with me. Yeah, and I gotta honor like the lows and then go back to the highs and. And I think with the medicinal, you know, the things like psilocybin, or like for me with DMT, which is the ayahuasca. If mm-hmm. anyone's wondering, that's what that's what, right? Happens. Of Peru, yeah. That's. Uh, I think it changes that neural network. Mm-hmm. Creates those new paths, new pathways, connections, yeah. new connections, as you said. And I think really that. You know, if you think of our brain, if you, I, I just feel like, okay, we have a limited amount of space, right? Yeah. That don't change. It's like we, you get big, and then you have a head, and that mm-hmm. just, maybe it changes a little bit here and there, right? You knock a few brain cells out, <laughs> you hit your head against a window. Yeah. Uh, it's like, but I think that's the key, is that creating the new pathways mm-hmm. creates a whole new way of you responding to something. Exactly. Creates a whole new... Okay, now I respond to this. Now I got this new job. Now I got this new relationship. And, and now even going back millions of years, when you know, when you when you yeah. ingest those, or even the medicinal mushrooms, it makes you physically healthy, mentally healthy, and even spiritually healthy. Connecting right. those new pathways, yeah. where you can evolve quicker than any other species. That's I think has I don't know if if I consider it a big role or right, a right, role. Right, right, right. I will truly believe it has a role yeah. in our evolution yeah as because homo sapiens yeah it's funny it's because like i love being able to have that um relationship with spirit and evolution mm-hmm. and you know a lot of people will be like wait how can you believe in it i'm like no it's it's very complex my <laughs> yeah. friend like you have to see things in a spiritual realm on a physical yeah. realm on a hundred year realm a 10 year a thousand year like we were just talking 2400 years mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah you know what i mean we're sitting here talking on these cool microphones on yeah. this. I ain't had none of this when I was a kid. You know what yeah. I mean? Like and this, this is, is 2,400 years ago. <laughs> it's like, what were you doing? Like, like <laughs> in the next 30 years, next four, you know what I mean? We're not, we're older. It's going to be so amazing. So different. Crazy. Crazy. We're going to be talking about different things. We're going to be learning different things. And again, I think it's, it's, you know, it's part of that neural network pathway. And, um, you know, and I don't like saying like homo sapien or like the human is like the ruler, quote unquote, mm-hmm. right? But it's funny because my belief sort of changed. I used to see that like, I don't know if you've ever seen like the meme or whatever. It's like eco versus ego. And it's like mm-hmm. eco is like this. I don't know if anyone's ever seen it. Uh, it's like this little little circle and it's got like all the, all the animals and like the humans yeah. in the middle. Yeah. You know, and then like the ego is like all the animals on a triangle, humans at the top. Oh, yeah. So to me, that's, that's a little cool. It's kind of exactly kind of cool, but then I always step back and I'm like, I don't know about that. Because then I started to think, mm-hmm. and this was after I got out of being a vegetarian and I realized, like, yeah. oh, I, I need to play my role being a human yeah. like i have the conscious awareness yeah right mm-hmm. to to be an animal you animal husband you right or wrong right mm-hmm. do t- treat something or are the environment right or wrong like yeah. there are these aspects that you may think well dolphins do that too yeah yeah right <laughs> you, know, and you know that like you know do not, you know they, what they're conscious you know what i mean it's just so, that's, that's <laughs> the thing about human series like yeah there's so many arguments i mean <laughs> And yeah, the fact of the matter is, right? is, like you said, it's like an apex predator in a sense. Yeah, we're the absolute top of the food chain apex predator, but what is I that? I gotta honor that. What, what, yeah, me too. But at the same time, you also gotta look, you know, in a different perspective. Like, for example, this honey mushroom is doing pretty fucking fine. <laughs> you're gonna, 2,400 you know I mean? years. Yeah, right? so it's just like, that's look at it in perspective. Right. Maybe we're conscious and we're doing our thing, but in, in the not just the ecosystem, Mother Nature, we're just living and yeah. we're doing good at reproducing. Yeah. So is a lot of other things. Right. Everything else that's on the planet, I mean, obviously it goes like things go extinct, but 
you know what I mean? Every everything has its role and it's been yeah. pretty successful and that's what life's about, I guess, in a in a scientific way, you know? Yeah. Mushrooms just laying it down, dude. Yeah, like a good example. Like, from, from perspective. Not only giving us new neural pathways, but <laughs> theoretical. Yeah, to pathway. look that's perspective. Amazing. Yeah. You know, and you can look at other wow. stuff, but that's just a really good example. So <laughs> Um So yeah, we'll 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 end it because we just we I feel like we co- covered a lot. I yeah, think that was a great show, you guys. I think I think if you guys uh, love this, you know, it'll be down. It'll be downloaded. I'll get it up quick. Uh, I got I got plenty of time, uh, mm-hmm. so I'll get it up as quick as I can. Um, you know, and I'll and I'll tag you so in case anybody wants to, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, follow whatever. He, he I gotta, some. I gotta post some more stuff. But. <laughs> some food stuff if you're in, into that, whatever. But like, uh, I'll have I'll have it up for download on uh, gutinstinctspodcast.com. Um, you guys know that, right? Uh, and then you can also go on iTunes. You can get on iTunes, stream it there. Uh, and that's all that's all it's in those two places for now um so a lot changed on tuesday like the city of denver now becoming the first in the nation to decriminalize the use yeah, of so this wow. is just, wow. yeah that means is those magic yeah, so mushrooms this was in, still aren't legal but arresting i'm you- a little worried now because <laughs> i'll block that out but it was like uh yeah decriminalize uh they did. It was it was back in May. Yeah, it was in May. No way. How did so, I not hear about this? this is, I'm so ashamed of Well, <laughs> you shouldn't be because you know what, dude? They they purposely don't, you know what I mean? They they, mm. they purposely won't report on it. They purposely won't do sense. this stuff because, you know, when we sit back and we think about it, if we think about it as a consciousness thing, which you and I definitely do, and a lot of us do, you know, 100 monkey uh, syndrome, it's like, Enough people are aware, mm-hmm. and enough people say, "Oh, Colorado did it." Why don't we? Do oh, it? <laughs> right. Federal and government's it, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. So it, when it comes down to it, and see, that's what <laughs> the conspiracy theorist in me. Uh, that's why I, I always tag like the fake stream media, and I call them scripted media, and I call yeah. them all fucking fake actors. News, fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Would you like to know, weatherman? <laughs> I love that. That's, dude, awesome. that's the funniest one. Um, oh no, Weather Boy. Wouldn't you yeah, like no Weather, weather Boy? boy. <laughs> See, he's gonna be infamous. Whoever that kid is. Oh, no, I'm on great. a podcast in great. ten years, twenty years. <laughs> um, but that's what it is. I feel like if it's in the mass awareness, mm. just like the cannabis thing, after a while, the consciousness changes. Mm. And I think that's all. That's what's happening. The old paradigm breaking apart and all this weird oh, political man. bull that that's we ain't crazy. even touching. It's hilarious. It's so I'm just well, I'm just enjoy the show. Sit that's what I always like, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say? Happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's it. So yeah, that was it. So so you know, uh, Denver, you know, Colorado, you guys rock, man. You guys are crushing it. So any of you who are listening over there, I love you guys. Keep doing it, and and please just lead the way. You know, like over here, Massachusetts is leading the way with um, legalizing cannabis. Um, although. It's a messy situation. It's like the wild, wild west. Like we talked about earlier, a lot of it is driven by money, mm-hmm. which I get it. It has to be because, mm-hmm. you know, we got to eat. Yep. Man's got to eat. I got to pay for the internet that we're yeah. on and all this. But I think there's, you know, there's that there's that threshold. Mm, and, 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 I, and I think that people are just going to take advantage in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I tell everyone good because it's just going to expose – everything that needs to be exposed and it and it's and it's gonna the leaders will pave the way you know absolutely as far as the researchers people like you and i advocating and sharing our stories yeah yeah because you and i we personally have stories like that are that 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 have that you know this has helped us it's helped us with everything you Mm -hmm. know with with the mentally and spiritually and then it comes out physically yeah, I think we're going in a good direction. Yeah. No matter anybody's opinion, I think America, right, regardless. Stuff, regardless of your opinion, I, think, mm-hmm. I believe that with regards to what in regards to what you said, that we are going in that direction. Yeah, I mean Denver, this. Yep. You know what I mean? As I hit my microphone. All right, dude. All right. I think that's it, man. That's that's cool, man. That's an hour, bro. Awesome. You rock, man. Great. Chad, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Um, so yeah, you guys. Uh, love you guys for hanging out and listening. I hope you guys dug that show. That was like one of the coolest shows oh, thanks, I've had, thanks, bro. Man. So thanks for thanks. And then I'll have him on again. 
uh, more. Um, so the goal for the show is 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 essentially one uh, guest a month would be you know oh, yeah. would be oh. great for you know I love that. So you're gonna come back, dude. Gonna, oh, yeah. We need you to come back for more episodes. I'll be here, and we'll talk about more food, and we'll talk about more awesomeness. Yeah. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, man. All right, brother. All right, everyone. Peace. Thanks for hanging out. All right. <laughs> Let's lock this up. Cool, man. Oh yeah, no, it's I'll I'll just, I can uh, yeah, cut it. Yeah, I just cut it at the end. Boom. Uh, it's done. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure well, I save I it first. I took a few nips because I was nervous as fuck. Dude, no way. <laughs> no I was like, a little conflict with confidence. You did fucking amazing. Really? Bro. You crushed. You it. liked it, man. Dude, amazing. <laughs> I like it too. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs>